Hi, in uh, this video we will learn how formally we can uh, check if there is uh, some uh, evidence that our error term is uh, correlated with uh, one of our explanatory variables. So we will rerun first uh, the regression and uh, next thing we will run a bruch pagan test in uh, Stata and uh, the bruch pagan test is run by writing down the command head test and uh, uh, what we're doing here is we're regressing the square term of our residuals on uh, our um, explanatory variables. And this time we will regress uh, our squared residual on uh, sales uh, advertising uh, than uh, on um, the square term of uh, price uh, advertising and uh, the uh, cross term between uh, price and advertising, which was uh, price at rate. Okay. Alright, so I've made a mistake here. I've specified sales, uh, and what I meant to write down is uh, price. So you don't have to write down the name of uh, your OI variable because uh, usually. Um, it is uh, the predicted, the fitted uh, square term of uh, your y variable, um, the re the residual, uh, the dependent variable on which this uh, uh, brush pagan test is run on. So, what we have to write down instead of sales here is uh, price. Great. So now we can run the brush pagan test and. Um, the null hypothesis of this test that is that there is a, a constant variance. In other words, that your uh, residual is not um, correlated with um, uh, any of your explanatory variables. Uh, so your chi-square is um, some value 147, but what you're interested more uh, is the probability of this uh, test and this is automatically reported in uh, Stata and uh, this is uh, zero. So we, so we can uh, conclude from here that uh, we can uh, reject our null hypothesis and conclude that there is some evidence of uh, heteroscedicity in uh, our model.